Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Yeah, well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Is this Richard Knapp? It is. The National Hurricane Center. Thank you, Richard. Thanks for joining us. And Leslie Chapman Henderson, President and CEO of Federal Alliance of Sports Safe Homes. Yes, ma'am. I want to thank you guys for joining me in Dallas, Texas on the Belga BB Show. We're going to talk about protecting your home and property during the pre-hurricane season. And you're going to tell us how to properly prepare for a hurricane. And if we'll start off with you, Leslie, uh, women are always first in my world. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Well, the big thing we want to remind people is the time to prepare is now before the storm hits. And we want you to consider how you're going to be safe, whether or not you need to evacuate. And right behind that, we want you to figure out your financial protection. Have an insurance checkup, contact your agent, contact your company, pull out your individual policy and figure out what coverages you have, what you don't have, but that you might need. Focus on flood insurance, remembering there's a 30-day waiting period, and you know, it doesn't necessarily mean just because you're on the coast that you have a flood risk, especially there in Texas. You know, you guys have all kinds of uh, potential for flood well inland. And my wife reminded me back in May, Rick, it's time to go get our family's insurance checkup. I know you got a lot of other people to talk to, but we have to take care of our own house. And we did that. So glad that I did because we found some coverage changes with just a small change in premium. I've got a lot more peace of mind going through the rest of this hurricane season. Richard, would you talk about People don't understand. We think we have flood insurance, but I have been enlightened to know that that needs to be a separate policy. Am I correct? That's right. The flood insurance is not part of your typical homeowner's coverage. And whether you rent or own, you need to go talk to your agent and get flood insurance and revisit all of your coverages so you know that whether it's wind, water, or both that you experience this year or next year or sometime in the future, that you've got that financial security that gives you such peace of mind. You know, look at this from a personal and emotional standpoint. Don't let your family uh, be at that much risk. You've got to think about getting through the storm itself, but you need to recover financially and get life back to normal in the aftermath. Leslie, as the president and CEO of the Federal Alliance and Safe Home, what have you seen that's different in today's uh, homeowner that was like of the past? Are we better homeowners? Are we smarter? Well, we've written a piece called Rusty or Resilient, and that's, I think we're a little rusty, and it's mostly because we haven't had the landfalling hurricanes to remind us. And the whole point of what we're doing here today and what Hurricane Strong is about is to remind people, get this information, take these actions, learn about flood insurance, no surprises is what we're going for here. We want you to know how you're going to be safe, how you're going to recover, and what a gift that is for you and for your family. No surprise that, oh my goodness, I have a deductible I have to meet of this level, didn't even know that. So that's what I see is it's just we're out of practice. And so we're asking people to plan and practice inside that plan so that they can be ready. And, and tropical oh. storms and hurricanes are not just coastal events. If you live inland, you've got a hurricane problem as well. Got to deal with wind, water, maybe both. And that's why we urge folks to go to ready.gov, go to flash.org. Most of you have a hurricane problem, even if you don't know it. And if it's been a long time or never that you've experienced really uh, impactful wind and water events, uh, don't wait until something is on your doorstep. You got to act while the weather's good and you got time to think about it and take all of the necessary steps way in advance. And like Leslie was saying, uh, the insurance, uh, you got to do now, there's a 30-day waiting period to get the flood insurance in effect. Uh, don't wait until a storm is, is coming to Texas. Richard and Leslie, you guys have helped us to be smart and to take part in our own success. Thank you so very much for this information, especially in my state of Texas. We really need this. Thank, Thank you. you.